A heartfelt welcome to the graduation seminar, uh, ceremony of Prince of Atlantis University in the year 2021. This year, again, we have a special context here, this arena, for known reasons. Last year, for the first and possibly the last time, and the last time is wrong, and now I welcome for the second time all of you and I'm glad we can use this arena for this ceremony. I welcome all of you to this event, dear students, particularly dear graduates, dear colleagues, relatives and guests, and particularly the honorary guests, the mayor, uh, we have from the, our partner school, Marushevitz, we have guests from the local politics, the mayors of Mecca, Mr. Rolli, from Burg, Mr. Stark, and from Gentin, Mr. Günther, from the universities of uh, Saxony-Anhalt, I welcome uh, my colleague Führing with his wife. He is the rector of the Police Graduate School in Aschersleben. And from the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I welcome Mr. Fabig from uh, this area, Mi Brother Knoll from North Rhine-Westphalia, Jens Mohr from the Southern German Union, 
um, Johannes Nähte from the North German Union and Mr. Stefan Sieg, our speaker today from Switzerland. All of you welcome to this meeting. I don't think I need to remind you of the corona rules, and I see that you have observed them with masks and keeping distance. So I can welcome, and I'm happy that you are here to this, to this peak point in our academic year, particularly our graduates and the bachelor and master programs who have prepared for this day for years, and it's beautiful that today we can give you our uh, documents, our papers, and of course I also welcome again our um, guest speaker. He is the president of the Seventh Adventist Church in uh, the German part of Switzerland. Dr. Sick is theologian and pastor. He has studied in Austria and Bogenhofen in Marienhöhe Darmstadt in Germany at Newbold College and uh, got his doctorate at Andrews University, United States. He has worked in, this, in the Adventist Church in various capacities. Before he became president in Switzerland, he was a departmental director of youth in the Inter-European Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And before that, and uh, you can see how close he is related to Friedensau, he was uh, teaching practical theology in Friedensau from 2007 to 2010. So actually, he was my predecessor in uh, the practical theology. That means you know us, you have been participating at graduation ceremonies before, and we are glad that you are our guest speaker today. Welcome to you again. Yeah, dear graduates, dear relatives, representatives of uh, state and church, um, the rector and his team, and the colleagues of the university. If you haven't read it in the program, my language betrays me. Um, uh, this guy is not from here. And even if I try hard, the Helvetic uh, unique terms, uh, Swiss German, uh, I will use them and I remain a, a learner. I have uh, taught three years in Friedensau, but I still order my bread. I would like to have two Gipfeli uh, and 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 then I say I I want to have I get I get two croissant. I'm a stranger here. I'm a guest, even though I lived here. And that is not a problem, because strangers, others, we are uh, already in the garden of the neighbor. Sometimes we are strangers in our own family. The experience of strangeness is a normal experience. Last week, there was the intercultural week here in, in the Jericho region, and some uh, of you probably were participating with different offers and events. It was discussed, the, the different, the being different. Society in which we live, be it here or where I come from, 
it's becoming more and more heterogeneous. The world is coming closer and closer. closer. But it doesn't mean that we get closer to each other. And to uh, decrease the distance for between us and others, uh, it needs something like the Intercultural Week. As students, you have not only experienced intercultural weeks, you have lived intercultural years. And if you look at the, uh, the countries from which our students come from, then you realize Friedensau is an intercultural place, a conglomerate of people, of nations. And even though the being stranger uh, remains a part of us, you, you are ab graduating here no longer as strangers because you not only studied your course, but you are fellow students and you, you lived with them, discussed with them. Once you live here on campus, you, you not only sit next to each other, but uh, you sit across each other uh, in the mensa or in class, you discuss and, uh, with fellow students and with teachers. You not only learn uh, the material in class, but also you come to know other people. But for those of you who are uh, new here, it's different. So the first week you spent here, well, you were felt a stranger. Maybe uh, someone of you has uh, come to know uh, a person that has become very dear to you, which you take with you when you leave here. You came as strangers, you leave as friends. And of course, the university hopes that you will remain friends of Friedensau. There is an interesting tension between being a stranger and a friend in the and in old in the old Greek and the biblical Greek. Too. Um, in the old Greek language, the stranger is the xenos. It describes the person who comes from somewhere else, the, the one who is different, who is not known. The xenos is the potentially a danger. In antiquity, the xenos was combined with the fear of that otherness. It's not an accident that, that in many languages the word for stranger and enemy is the same. Uh, the stranger feels like a threat. And for the stranger, the new country uh, is a strange experience, and it feels threatening. Being a stranger is connected to fear between friend and, and friend. is a tension. But in the Greek language, the xenos is not only the stranger, but the friend, the one who is familiar. Instead of mutual fear with friendship, confidence rules. To make strangers into friends doesn't mean that the person changes, but my relationship to the other person is changing. You solve the tension between stranger and friend that you, uh, that you meet uh, the stranger as a friend. 
And from this tension, the concept of hospitality grew. Hospitality means that a stranger becomes a friend. In antiquity, like in some cultures until today, hospitality is regarded as one of the highest virtues. You don't only open him the door, but you share your house with him. Hospitality is not just an invitation to eat, but you combine with it the responsibility for the life and well-being of your visitor. So out of the fear against the stranger, you answer with a motivation of love. So, hospitality in Greek means philoxenia, the love for strangers. As theologian, of course, that interests me, because in the biblical context, uh, the philoxenia is closely related to the philadelphia, the love for the brothers. Hospitality becomes a central uh, expression of love. So we have find in the New Testament in many places the call to be hospital hospitable. Hospitality is is applied love and care for others. It's at the intersection of the love of God and the love of people. You don't only see this in the expectation of the Old Testament to love a stranger because you were strangers yourself in Egypt, but particularly with Jesus himself. He identified directly with strangers. I was hungry and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. Okay. So, uh, love of strangers is real worship. So, this is a central attitude. Love of strangers does not love to make the enemy a friend, but she loves even when the other the enemy remains a friend. The stranger remains a stranger. The French philosopher Jacques Derrida is not far away from this uh, Christian understanding, Christian mission of life, hospitality, the unconditional hospitality, I quote him, hospitality itself opens itself she, it is open for whomever who is neither expected nor invited, for everyone who comes as absolute stranger, who is, who is coming and cannot be identified or predicted. In this divine vision, Hospitality is uh, without condition and selfless. You don't open the door only temporarily. And if you tell people, feel like at home. Do people believe that? The love in hospitality is much more than a, a polite statement. Hospitality is an open attitude towards the other and the, the otherness of the other. It, uh, it creates a culture of welcome, be feeling welcome. Uh, lived hospitality 
becomes a, a power of social adhesion between people. It unites people. You don't live past each other, beside each other, but with each other. While fear makes the stranger an enemy, the motivation of love becomes a friend. Well, why do I address this topic here, the graduation ceremony? Well, I do it because you as graduates were strangers when you came. Do you remember the first day you came here? The first uh, class period, the first lectures, the strange faces of your fellow students. How strange was the field of study you had chosen? How did you feel as a stranger in Friedensau? And what has changed since then? Because you were a stranger yourself, love the stranger. That's the commandment in the Old Testament. And I want to encourage that you, that you continue to do this academically, geographically, uh, with, with food, <laughs> but particularly on a human level, to enter new territory, strange land. The degree, the degree you earned now is only a step in this direction. In the same way, I want to encourage you to be open to others and to the otherness to him who knocks at, our, at your door. Especially as theologians and social scientists, y you are people who are oriented to people on relationships. Your academic degree comes to fruition where you apply what you learned in relationship to other people. And finally, I want to encourage you not uh, see yourself as strangers, but as guests. To be guests and remain guests. We humans are always guests. We are guests in this world, born, born and re accepted, ac received to live and to be loved. In this sense, congratulations, congratulations to your achievement. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you so much for this beautiful piece. And now I'm before, and thank you, dear Stefan, for your speech and the motivation you gave us. Uh, and now we come to one of the high, high points, highlights of this afternoon, the passing out of the degrees. You received them from the deacons for social studies, Thomas Spiegler for theology, Dr. Alexander Schulze. After that, the DAAD award will be um, conveyed and the prize of the Friends of Friedensau by Friedegard Völz. Now I ask the deans Dear students, for the last time I call you, this is the moment for which you have worked for years, suffered and studied and written. You now get your degree awarded. A Bachelor of Social Work, we have four graduates. Für Vivian scheint das Studieren nicht ganz so schlimm gewesen sein. Sie bleibt noch Studierende und she remains for a master in counseling. Hier in Friedensau. Sebastian Henschke. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Sebastian hat vor wenigen Tagen seine berufliche Tätigkeit als Sozialarbeiter gestartet. Er arbeitet in Stuttgart in einer Worker Tagesgruppe mit verhaltensauffälligen Grundschulkindern. Applaus Tobias Nietzsche. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Tobias hat auch seine Tätigkeit bereits begonnen. Er arbeitet in Stendal in der Schulbegleitung mit verhaltensauffälligen Grundschulkindern. Applaus Sarah Quinger. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Sarah bewirbt sich gerade umstellen für die staatliche Anerkennung She und sie möchte die Vorzugsweise im Bereich der Kinder- und Jugendhilfe oder der Flüchtlingshilfe. Mit einem Master Now we Arts have three Abschluss graduates with a Master MA in Counseling. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Sarah hat ihre Tätigkeit als Kita-Leiterin gerade beendet, weil sie umgezogen ist She und wird jetzt an ihrem neuen Lebensmittelpunkt in Stuttgart nach einer geeigneten neuen Children Group Ausschau halten. And looking for a new job.
Eva Sauer in Absentia. Annika Schultheiß. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Annika ist als Sozialarbeiterin in der Freikirche der SPA in Annika Bayern. Annika arbeitet als Social Work in der Adventist Church in Bavaria in der Area von Nürnberg. Mit einem Masterabschluss in Sozial- und Gesundheitsmanagement graduiert. MA in Social and Health Management. Philipp in Absentia. With a master degree in International Social Sciences. Now we have the MA in Bonnie International Pace, Social Boa. Science. Congratulations. Boniface plans to establish an own NGO in his home country, Ghana, that focuses on poverty alleviation. <laughs> Salam Akbodo. Congratulations, Salom. Salom is currently working with Dental Plus in Berlin and still planning the next steps. <laughs> Noemi Akposasa. <laughs> Congratulations, Noemi. Noemi is currently in parental leave and she has not decided yet what she is going to do after this. Ibrahim Ahmed in absentia. Deborah Esposito. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Deborah. Deborah arbeitet. Deborah arbeitet zurzeit ehrenamtlich in einem Integrationsprojekt in Hannover. Und sie was like to, she likes to work in that area of migration work. Shoma Gibbe. Congratulations, Shoma. Shoma is still looking for the right job. She would like to work with an NGO in the field of social work, especially with children or families. Naomi Kie Mensa in Absentia. Hilda Memusi.
Congratulations. Hilda is currently looking for jobs in the humanitarian work here in Germany and in Kenya. Beatrice Finanga in absentia. <laughs> Dear graduates, from me and on behalf of my colleagues, I can say that was something special to get to know you and to accompany you on your way for a few years and in some cases, even a few years more. Most of the time, we enjoyed this. And we wish you the very best. We hope that your studies here enables you to do what you love to do, and to do it as professional as you would like to do it. Now, with your certificates, you are our alumni for the rest of your life. <laughs> and as such, you are always welcome on the campus. And therefore, our farewell to you is the German Auf Wiedersehen, liebe Absolventinnen und Absolventen. Greece for the uh, School of Theology. I do it in place of all my colleagues who have accompanied you during those years. You will remain in our memory on the positive side. Benjamin Barr is graduating with a special calling. He's working as a pastor in Bavaria. Now the graduates of the BA Theology. continues a study of social pedagogy in Nuremberg. Mit einem BA in Theologie absolviert in Absentia Igor Gucci. Mit einem BA in Theologie graduiert Lara Isicke. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Lara. Du darfst die Maske für das Foto gern absetzen. Lara arbeitet für die Administration der Mittelrheinischen Vereinigung. She works for the administration of the Central Rhine Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Mit einem BA in Theologie graduiert Jill Sitz. <laughs> Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Jill. Jill setzt sein Theologiestudium Jill in Friedens continues his study in theology. Mit 
einem BA in Theologie, graduiert Maurice Wessel. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Momo. Maurice also continues his study of theology in the MA program. Wir kommen zu den Absolventinnen und Absolventen im Master of Theological Studies, da der MTS ein englischsprachiger Studiengang ist. Now to the MTS graduate. Dieser Urkunden selbstredend in englischer Sprache. Graduating with a Master's in Theological so, Studies, Thomas Dumacek. Congratulations, Thomas. Thomas serves as a pastor in the Czech Republic, Thomas Dumacek. Our Master's in Theological Studies is offered not only here on the campus of Friedenstein University. Many years ago, an excellent cooperation with the Adventist College in Marushevitz began. It's a great pleasure for me to graduate 11 more students from this cohort today. While eight of them, unfortunately, cannot be present today, three of them will graduate in persona. Graduating with a master's in theological studies Igor Bosnich in absentia. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Dalibor Jovanovic in absentia. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Dalibor Martinovic in absentia. Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Trifil Nugiela in absentia. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Dejan Nikolic in absentia. Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Sanja Prole. <laughs> Congratulations, Sanja. Sanja has focused entirely on her theological studies while volunteering in her church community in Bosnia. Sanja Prole. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Daniel Purda in absentia. Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Dejan Stanjevic in absentia. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Josip Pigwitzki. Congratulations, Josip. Thank you very much. 
Josip serves as a pastor in the northern part of Serbia for more than 30 years, as he told me, Josip Tikvitski. <laughs> Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Tunde Torma. Congratulations, Tunde. Tunde has worked for the church administration in Croatia, both as at the conference and union level for many years, and has taken a year off to complete her master's. Tunde Torma. Graduating with a master's in theological studies, Dejan Bucetic in absentia. <laughs> Damit sind wir bei den Absolventen des deutschsprachigen Studiengangs Master of Arts in Theologie. Mit einem MA in Theologie uh, Master of Arts Henry in Theology, Haas. Henry Hase. Henry works as pastor in uh, Bavaria, but I blame. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Christian. Christian arbeitet als Pastor in Köln. Christian works as pastor in Cologne. Mit einem MA in Theologie graduiert Philipp Nern. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Philipp. Philipp arbeitet als Pastor. Philipp works as pastor in Marburg, Central Germany. Mit einem MA in Theologie graduiert in Absentia Mark Remke. Mit einem MA in Theologie graduiert und damit schließt sich der Kreis Christoph Till. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Christoph. Christoph arbeitet als Pastor in Chemnitz. Christoph, Christoph Till. works as pastor in Chemnitz, Saxony. It's a privilege for me 
to award the DAAD prize to one of our international students on behalf of the German Academic Exchange Service. The aim of this prize for outstanding achievements is to give faces to the many international students at German universities, to link their faces to their stories and to let them become visible as individuals within the bigger picture. The students who have received a DEED prize via their respective host institutions stand for their fellow students from all around the world. Allow me to sketch out such an individual part of the bigger picture with just a few quick brush strokes. He was born in Nigeria. He has been enrolled in the Master of Theological Studies program since winter 2019. He is well known and much appreciated for his personal commitment to helping others who are in need of encouragement. While others have withdrawn during the months of the pandemic, he and a team of like-minded made a positive impact on the spiritual life of the international community. By making sure that English worship services take place regularly, he and this team will leave a worthy heritage to the university. And finally, it also requires this last brush stroke. He has had thoughts about pursuing a doctorate after finishing his master's. And we, from the School of Theology, want to encourage you, John, to do so. The DAD Prize 2021 for Outstanding Achievements of International Students Studying at German Universities is awarded to John Opechi. Congratulations, John. The mic is all yours. I'm very humbled and honored to stand before you today. It has been a journey for me, and many have been on the way to support me. I want to thank all those who made it possible, especially the scholarship with which I came to Germany the first time. I want to single out Professor Stefan Horschele for his support so far in everything and other professors who have opened freely the well of knowledge for us to tap from. I want to thank the theme with which we have impacted the community. Everybody did a great job. I also want to thank my fellow students, uh, without whom studying here will not be interesting. <laughs> and then, I thank everyone, even my family in Nigeria, for their prayers. And I can only say that it has been all of God and none of me. Thank you very much.
So, der nächste Preis. Was für eine wundervolle Steilvorlage diese Ansprache heute war. Uh, this, vielen, vielen Dank. This, uh, speech was, uh, was uh, perfect for uh, the Friends of Friedensau, which it is a good tradition in institutions to have supportive groups who create friendships, who carry on friendships, and therefore I am very happy to be here today Um, to speak in the name of a group of friends of Friedensau who is working more in hiding but uh, who is uh, very supportive of students who uh, have financial troubles or who come in special needs. Uh, they had, we had students who suddenly lost their work and so we could help them. Feel, feel free to speak to me, it is, it is very important to see people who um, can be supported by the Friends of Friedensau as students here in Friedensau. So feel free to approach me after this meeting and uh, I'm proud to, to share the prize of the Friends of Friedensau to Vivian Crowes. This is a special prize. This is not a scholarship. This is a special award to special students. Vivian's social engagement has been very, very great. She becomes that prize for her social engagement, activity, and also for her uh, academic achievements. I'm very happy with you about this uh, recognition, and I wish you all and for your continued study in counseling here in Friedensau. Thank you very much to the Friends of Friedensau. I want to thank all those people I think of who, who made Friedensau to what it is. Friends also a special place for me where all the departments uh, and people here, especially for people who live here and people in a senior citizen home who support us. I stand here with many experiences and thank you very much for all of you. Dear graduates, or dear alumni, from my side also heartfelt congratulations. We are very happy and proud for this occasion. And now that you have, uh, that you are more relaxed, we will sh give some good words with you on the way, on your way. Uh, greetings, uh, uh, encouragements. First, we here, as a representative of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Mr. Jens Oliver Mohr, he's vice president of the church in southern Germany and responsible for the public relations. Uh, after that, um, in the name of the university, Andreas Bochmann, 
He will do it in English, and then in the name of the uh, of the students, the study council will speak the uh, pr the previous uh, leader of the student body, Benjamin Bar. Dear graduates, congratulations to all of you who have received your degrees, you have passed all exams, and you stand here as alumni. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in Germany congratulate you to this. You have got a qualified degree which entitles you to practice a profession. This is reason for joy and thankfulness. Uh, the time before the graduation usually is filled with lots of work, stressful situation. Uh, papers and uh, theses. Nothing, nothing falls from heaven except the intellect God has given to us. And you may have uh, had to work hard uh, to earn your money for the study in this in the old people's home, in the mensa, in the library, or elsewhere. And even if life in Friedensau appears to be quite idyllic, peaceful, I still remember my own time here in Friedensau, and uh, remembering that I had to, had to get up at 5.30, to work in the old people's home, I admit that wasn't easy for me. But we have that, uh, that saying at the uh, wall of the old school, work and pray, with exclamation mark. This has tradition in Friedensau. The foundation of this work in 1899 cannot be thought of without hard work. When Mr. Conradi uh, bought the, the mill here uh, from a miller and uh, 35 hectares of land, there were lots of work, more and more buildings came, um, different professions, buildings, and including a sanatorium. Friedensau became an international community, and today I read we have people from 23 different countries here in Friedensau. That's quite a lot. In the last years and decades, more and more um, places of encounter have been built. The cafe, the library, including this new arena. This was not possible without hard work. But beside the work, the prayer is part of it. I remember there were times when you had three worship services at one at during the Sabbath hours. We have uh, also spiritual offers. Everything has its place and wants to lead us closer to the Creator because we live not only for this world, even though the study concentrates on this life and this world. Therefore, we offer uh, degrees that have to focus on people, Christian social work, theology. Goal, it is the goal to help people to be successful in life here and now. And here in this context, the new school has a saying at the wall, get up, rise up, and become light.
again with an explanation mark. It is the commission to all graduates today to become light in the world in which we live, to move to other places and to share the light you have received wherever your field of work will be. As uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, we are especially uh, happy about the future pastors, but, but the church is more than the pastoral ministry. We have a number of institutions, and it is possible as non-theologian to be active and work in social work. We need motivated young people. Personally, after my study, I went to southern Germany and I, and I had to uh, get used to the people there. Working as a pastor, there were many uh, high points in my ministry as pastor, especially where people decided to live with God. Without light, it will be dark in this world. Uh, in conclusion, a look into the future. Again, the old school on the other side, there is written, the Lord is coming, a third exclamation mark. This is the, the belief of the Seven Adventist Church for more than 150 years. The second to last verse of Holy Scripture, then Jesus says, yes, I will come soon. As long as this happens, we are waiting. And the last verse is, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. That was the wish of the Apostle John to the readers of his letter. And this is my wish to all of you. Thank you. There are many questions and issues at Friedensau, and we had to deal with them, especially during the last year. I will choose three. And no, the corona issues are not one of them. They come on top of everything else. Number one, do we have an issue with racism? Friedensau is an international campus representing, as we just heard, more than 20 different nations, many different colors, cultures, languages, dialects, and outlooks on life. This means Tensions are inevitable, and the issue of racism and quite a few other isms need to be addressed. Number two, do we provide the environment that helps your personal spirituality grow? Now, while Friedensau does not require anyone to be a Christian, let alone as Seventh-day Adventist, this is an Adventist institution. And we fail our calling if your spirituality is not challenged in one way or another. Number three, do our students get the education they have come here for and deserve? Friedensau is first and foremost an educational institution, the oldest Seventh-day Adventist institution of its kind in Europe. And this raises expectations beyond mediocrity. Now, of course, I could easily answer all these three questions. No, yes, yes, and sit down again. And of course, I could find good reasons. 
you know, last elections, virtually no AFD votes in Friedensau. Nobody was beaten up because of the color of their skin. And even our Mensa provides international food. We celebrate our diversity in many ways. And we have plenty of offers for your spirituality. Worship services in German and in English. Uh, even during the pandemic, vibrant prayer and Bible study groups, meeting under the word, pastors, chaplains, a spiritual master plan, you name it. And finally, yes, we do offer solid education. Our accreditation and reaccreditations documented, our follow-up research on former students confirms it. And last but not least, this graduation class of 2021 illustrates it. So it's easy. End of story. Now, Friedensau wouldn't be Friedensau if simple answers would suffice. Many of you have come to Germany from all over the world for that very reason. Germans are thorough. Germans are deep. Poets and philosophers, Denker und Dichter, Dichter und Denker, and issues are never easy but grave and serious, to be pondered and discussed at length. Thus, simple answers will not do. We have to struggle some more. My answer to the questions that I raised is summarized in uh, one word. It depends. Are we racist? It depends how you define and understand racism. Akin to Václavík's famous uh, dictum, you cannot not communicate, some would assume you cannot not be racist. It's a structural given. It's cultural, it's historical. Obviously, there are other definitions. Tricky thing. It depends on who we compare ourselves with. It is easy to claim we are not racist in comparison to groups of Nazis, but that would not be something to be proud of. It would not be my point of reference. But what is the point of reference? It depends on you. Does Friedensau provide an environment that helps you grow spiritually? It depends, of course, on how you define and understand spirituality. For me, it is far more than indoctrination, though theologians should know about the teachings of their church. Spirituality is the freedom to breathe and experience the ultimate thou to use a concept by Martin Buber. But for others, spirituality means something else. It depends on who we compare ourselves with. A secular university campus? A church community? Friedensau 50 years ago? It depends on you. Third question, do our students get the education they deserve? It depends on how we define and understand education. Our goal is not just to increase knowledge, but to develop the ability to think and decide. Even more, we see education as a holistic concept, which goes far beyond rational capabilities, but includes emotional maturity, compassion, wholesome, healthy living. Our standards are high, 
and hard to reach. Now, it depends on who you compare yourself with. Oxford or Harvard University? Friedensau is not part of the excellence cluster in terms of academic achievement, is not high-ranking in terms of income prospects for graduates. But when it comes to servant leadership, we might play in an upper league and can be proud of it. Third answer, therefore, it depends on you. My repeated uh, conclusion, it depends on you, is a little bit like, like the flipped classroom concept that uh, we tried during our online teaching struggles, turning the table, attributing responsibility to you. And I'm not talking about how you perceive Friedensau, you know, as a racist or non-racist institution, as a place of spirituality or some kind of Babylon, a university that provided you with education worth your effort, or one that wasted your time and money. No, I rather want to challenge you to live in the professional as well as the private realm as one who respects the dignity and value of every human being. I encourage you to develop your own spirituality, whatever it means to you, in a manner that it becomes a resource to you. And I believe Friedensau has done a good job if you don't just live as a knowledgeable person, but as a refined and educated human being. Friedensau Adventist University wishes to congratulate the graduates of 2021. Geehrte Mitglieder der Theologischen Hochschule Friedensau, liebe Senioren, Familien, people living in Friedensau, dear graduates, as previous speaker for the student body, I have the privilege to say the following words. It's done. Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands pages have been read from me, by me and by you. Many uh, hours of classwork, um, papers written, and the thesis three, five, or more years we were, you were here in Friedensau. And this time is ending now. It's time for a review to think back of those years. I remember how I came on a warm summer day to Friedensau for the first day with dreams, with hopes, with ideas and lots of motivation to, to enter this place. A place in the forest, pretty much reclosed, secluded. From beginning, I was impressed by the library. But in the library, the historical archive uh, of the Seventh-day Adventists in Europe, the senior citizens' home offers to us as students 
a special relationship to the senior citizens in our society. If I look at the campus and think of the possibility to do horse riding, that we have a lake now, that we have this campground here with different events and this arena, that we can participate in the fire department, that you can have your own garden. You, uh, when you practice music, you have to decide between five pianos, uh, the concert pianos, quite to say nothing about the other pianos. Back then I didn't think that many, many of my best friends understand me only because they have the earphones, because they don't understand German well enough. That we have uh, so many nations on campus that need more than four hands for it. It's a special time here. Yes, this place of land, this Friedensau, knows how to convince. We, as students, are, are recognized as small groups. We know our teachers personally. I, I'm thinking at this point, should I talk about problems of misunderstanding, stressful situations? But that's not the way I want to remember my time in Friedensau. And I want to, don't want to finish it with negative things. Much more, I, I look for uh, meditations in the senior citizens' hope that we have conducted there with the old people. I think of the moment when the Chancellor uh, threw me into the lake. You must not jump in from there. Moments when I was sitting with the rector uh, at barbecue, uh, sharing times when you that, that you had to laugh so much that you could not stop. These are friends. Afternoons in sunshine on the meadow to say nothing of organized worship services, uh, classes that are exciting. Teams who grew together in working. Thank you to the Technik, who always in the background for many years have been work givers. Many worked uh, on campus in several different uh, places. So you could feel at home in being active. Friendships who will last a whole lifetime. And I look back at that and say, oh, Friedensau. You and we, Friedensau will miss us. Uh, the last weeks we already moved away, and Friedensau realized how important you were, we were here on campus. Now we leave. For us, a new time uh, is starting. It will some be something special and challenging. But those who remain here 
We will come to know new people, new Gerade students. And, Sprich jeden, den du nicht kennst, an. and my counsel to you is talk to Halt's anyone you don't know. Freunden. Look for new friends. Neue, neue Studierende willkommen. Tell them they are welcome here. Ich bin dankbar, ein Pastor sein zu dürfen. I am grateful that I can work as a pastor. Und so wünsche ich jedem and, and I wish all the graduates a good start in your professional und life. Neuen and a blessed da time in your life. Habe, vor allem eins sein soll, kurz, Since a good speech should be short. I want to say at this place, as a pastor, to end with the text of the Bible, to share this with you. From Psalm 91, verse 10. No evil will hit you, and no plague will come to your quarters, for he has asked his angels to take care of you on all your paths that they carry you on their hands and your feet will not hit a stone. Thank you very much. Vielen Dank für die Gruß- und Geleitworte und die guten, wertvollen good words. die wir alle mitnehmen können. Ihr Studierenden, ihr Absolvierenden, ihr habt nun viel gehört. Now you graduates. Am heutigen Tag. Aber ihr habt ja eure, eure eigenen Erlebnisse, you had your own experiences. die ihr uns auch jetzt mitteilen möchtet that you want to share with us. Therefore, two graduates that we have seen a few moments ago, they will speak to us and share their impressions with us. Es sind zwei Absolventinnen des Studienganges ISS. Yeah, two graduates from the ISS. In englischer Sprache zu uns und dann Frau Deborah Exposito in Deutsch. One in English, one in German. Good afternoon, everyone. I stand here before you today looking back on three and a half years spent within the beautiful community of Friedenshaw. As an international student coming from Benin, West Africa. Coming to study in Friedenshaw for me was a new beginning, not only as a new student, but also as a newly wedded wife, studying in a field I knew absolutely nothing about, in a language that was not my mother tongue. I remember my first class with Professor Ulrike Schultz. It was in loop 112, <laughs> from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., social protection and development. After one hour, 30 minutes of lecture, I understood absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the vocabulary was strange and the content of the class made no sense to me. In my frustration, I prayed to God and I asked him to make me better, better than I could ever imagine. I believed it, and gradually things became smoother. A year later, my belief was tested when we lost our 
fun. I thought everything I had started a year earlier was over. One morning as I was being reluctant to pray, I heard a voice in my head, which I believe was God speaking to me. It clearly said, it is not over yet. I opened my Bible and my eyes came across Isaiah 43 verse 19, where it is written, Behold, I will do something new. My belief was revived, and I went back. <laughs> I went back to studying, and here I am today, two and a half years later. I thank God for Freedom Cell, who adopted us during our stay here. I thank God for the administration, for our lecturers. I thank God for the church, for my study mates, for my family, for my friends. I thank God for my husband and my baby girl. More than a location on a map, Frieden Sao is to me a beautiful and a rich adventure of three and a half years. To all new students, I welcome you to this new adventure at Frieden Sao especially to those of you coming from African countries. When challenges show up as they always do, hold on to the voice in your head that says, keep going, do not quit. Be bold, be courageous, and be your very best. Dear graduates, we all have our stories of how we made it through our studies as students in Freedom South. One thing we have in common is that we did not give up. Congratulations to us. <laughs> I pray that the God of new beginnings be with us all as we look forward to new adventures. Congratulations to us once more. Thank you. Liebe Studierenden, liebe Professorinnen, dear students, dear professors, hello together. When I look at you, I feel at home. That's how I felt when I lived here. First time I left my home country, Brazil. And I was very much looking forward to meet Germans when I came to Friedensau. We, uh, as Brazilians, uh, are discussed normally, but we are, we are speaking much louder. <laughs> I know many people with their first name. But still, but still, we notice that we are in Germany at 7 o'clock 
Werkzeuge und die Maschine werden gestartet. Then the, en the engine start and the machines are working. Oder wenn du zum Mensa fängst, um noch ein Mittagessen zu bekommen. Oh, if you go to the Mensa, if you come too late one minute, it's closed. In der Mensa gibt es Dessert als Hauptspeise. Leute, in Brasilien ist Milchreis ein Dessert. Well, um, um, uh, you have uh, uh, sweet rice is a uh, uh, dessert in Brazil, but here it's a main dish. And when your roommate opens the window in the winter, you know you are in German. If you meet other cultures and really come to know them, it's challenging and it can be unsettling some things that you believe you will do your whole life, everything which is normal to you will be totally strange with, for someone else and the other way too. To come to know other cultures and to want to know to come to other cultures. But why should we do that? Why should I leave my comfort zone? The further you go, the deeper you dig into another world, the deeper you reach into your own world, how you grew up, your background, your, your convictions, who you are, but don't be afraid. Don't worry. You will not lose yourself, either your identity nor your culture. To the contrary, on this journey you grow. You, you may become more deeper founded in your identity. Potentiality and resources, uh, increasing your horizon, and you will experience hospitality, food from different countries. You get fun with Brazilian, Brazilian humor. We believe we are funny, but others don't see it this way. From the Germans, you can learn to enjoy four seasons. From spring, summer, fall, and winter. The person I'm standing here is no longer the person that came some years ago. I have grown. What I've learned here I will not forget in my life. You will find friendships that last a whole life. The the most difficult phase in my life, I have survived because of my friends. So enjoy life in Friedenshof. Show your face everywhere. Don't stop studying. And not even in study. Don't ask, don't ask for help. Let us all together develop ourselves and, and to create a, a place where everyone finds his or her place so everyone can contribute to the social equality here on campus. To all of you who graduate, congratulations. You, you deserved it. And to all new students, I wish you the best time in Friedensau. Vielen Dank, Noemi. Vielen Dank, Deborah.
thank you, the two of you. Eure sehr zu Herzen gehenden Worte. Thank you for your words that reach in our heart. Ja, wir sind damit fast an das Ende dieser Feierlichkeit gekommen. We have reached almost the close of our Und wir denken nach dem vielen, was wir gehört, erlebt and haben, what we heard about your experiences. So I think it is more than proper to praise our Lord and God at this point. We want to do this together with a well-known song, spiritual song, Praise God. You find it on the back side, flip side of the program. You can sing in German or in English. I invite you to stand up for that and afterwards we pray with the chaplain Dietmar Dost. Let us pray. Great God, we have laughed together. We have cried together. You have brought us together. And now some are leaving us. Today is the day when full of gratitude is stand before you. 
We thank you for the time we could spend together here in Friedensau. Thank you for everything that was valuable, enriching all the encounters. Thank you for friendships that have grown here. Thank you for support in every way through family, university, friends, and many others. We thank you that you have given us breath when we had none anymore, new courage, new power, new energy. Thank you also for the challenges which help us to grow and mature. Thank you for the joy about the competencies we have achieved here. Lord, we ask for your blessing for all graduates, no matter if they, whether they enter professional life or continue to study. Be their friend and helper and help them to have a good start. Bless them with enthusiasm and good ideas at their place where they will be. Give them encouragement and the, the conviction that you are at their side. Give them the assurance to be part of something bigger and give them the power they need for others. Bless them so that they can have an impact on their new environment. Help them when they carry responsibility for others. Guide them in their decisions that they take for themselves or for the benefit of others. Give them wisdom and courage and determination. All of this we ask in Amen. your holy name. Amen. I thank all those who have contributed to this uh, event the preparation team, by the musicians, by technic, by the translator, <laughs> all who had good contribute to this celebration. It's not quite finished yet. Because now, of course, the photo shooting with the graduates and the possibility for a uh, reception and to discuss and talk to each other. Please watch those. All those who, uh, who are participating in the photo shooting, please, you are asked to go right away outside of this uh, arena. Uh, you won't miss any drink. Uh, so go first to the photo shooting First the graduates, then the graduates, and the teachers, and then, as you see on the list, one after the other. Wish you a good afternoon and God's blessing.